Hi everybody, I know we're in a cabinet company, but I want to talk to you a little bit about appliances and choosing those appliances because certainly those go hand in hand with cabinets. When you are working with existing cabinets, it's really critical when you're selecting a new appliance that you consider all of the, the things that are going on in your kitchen with your existing cabinets. One of the things that homeowners uh, typically do is they will look at the outside dimensions of an oven or a built-in microwave. So they'll select maybe a 30 inch oven, which that's good, but what they really need to be focused in on is the cutout dimensions. We've run across this a couple of times this week actually in working with homeowners who had selected an appliance that really was going to, we could make it fit, but it was going to require a lot of modifications to their existing cabinets. So when you're select or shopping, go online and look for the cutout dimensions. So Austin, if you'll come here, I, I copied off one. You're going to find, you'll go to specifications. Every appliance that you find will have a specification sheet and it will give you the overall height, overall width, and then there will also be cutout dimensions for the height and the width. And that's what's really, really important because that tells us exactly what we need to modify in order for that appliance to fit. You may not be able to get exact measurements, but you can certainly put a tape and see what, what might work with the existing cabinets that you have. So again, look for the cutout, not necessarily the overall dimensions. The second thing I wanted to just bring up today because we came across that, this this week is the corners. And if you have a dishwasher or a range, the design now for appliances is the handle is a part of the overall design and they make some really great looking handles. I know uh, some of the, the models have really big, sturdy um, handles that come out, actually protrude out three inches or more. Um, some have more sleek, rounded designs. But if you have a range or a dishwasher that's close to the corner and you buy a new one that's of a different depth and that handle sticks out, you're adjacent, here we have a, a lazy season, so I can't really illustrate, but an adjacent drawer box might not be able to pull out the entire distance because it's gonna hit. Let's say this was the, the appliance that stuck out. It's gonna hit that. Um, that was came up this week when we were measuring for uh, a homeowner who had an older dishwasher that didn't have one of the new handles we advised her to get one of the nice new models that has no handle at all but just an, uh, a finger pull that where you open the doors so those are just a few things that maybe you don't think about or the appliance store does not ask you about so when you're thinking about uh, replacing those appliances look and see what barriers you might have or need to consider there's always going to be a, a, a workaround or perhaps an appliance that might fit a little bit better that's still gonna give you the, the look that you want. And it's so much easier to plan that on the front end than it is to get an appliance delivered and then it's, oops, it doesn't really fit, fit what you have going on. 